Hello, welcome back and we are going to continue our discussion and music theory. Okay, let's proceed. If we notice in the structure of the piano or keyboard, we have seven different keys, white keys, and these are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, then followed by C again. So basically, there are only seven major white keys. And then, above them are the five black keys. And we have discussed earlier the equivalent of these black keys. Okay, right now we are going to discuss about the chromatic scale. So what is a chromatic scale? Chromatic scale is a set of notes from note number 1 to number 12 using 12 semitones. Okay, to elaborate that, let's use, uh, let's start, uh, let's do this using the key of C. Right here, C going to the higher C. Now, if we're talking about the chromatic scale, this is set up notes from note 1 to 12 so from here to here there are 12 semitones so going along the way going here to the higher C we will be encountering some other notes so let's start so this C C here is note number one first semitone after the first semitone we landed to C sharp or D flat so this is our note number two and then another semitone or half step or one step is D number four is D sharp or E flat number five number six number seven number eight nine ten 11, 12. So, this will be our note 12. But how many semitones you already have? So, from... Sorry for that. So, from C to B, we only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. These green numbers represents the number of semitones we've used so therefore up to b we only have 11 so we still have one left so from b a semitone going to c so therefore from c to c we have 12 semitones but basically we only have 12 different notes and these are the c d e f g a b and then the black keys represented by these notes. So we are only after the 12 different notes because this C is just the higher C of this C. So there are 12 different notes using 12 semitones for us to go back to C, to the higher pitch of C. Okay, now. We go now to the familiar tune Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do Okay, so Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do So from Do to higher Do The equivalent of this set into letter names are C, D, E, F, G, A, B and then again C so if we notice, there are eight notes from Do to Do or C to C. We have eight notes, these green numbers here below them. But basically, we only have seven different notes. Because this eighth note is just the same as the first note. Same here for the letter names. 
A. Now, we have this what we call an octave. An octave is set of notes from number 1 to number 8. Number 1 to number 8. Where 8, number 8, is the higher pitch of number 1. This 8 is the higher pitch of this number 1. So, therefore, an octave set of notes composed of 8 notes. 8 notes from Do to Do and C or C to C. Same goes for the other keys like for D, E, F, G, A, B. We use this parenthesis to uh, emphasize that we, we landed on the higher pitch of the note number 1 here. And same as here. So, an octave is set of notes, 8 notes from 1 to 8. So, this C going to higher C is an octave. D to higher D is an octave. E to higher E is an octave as well. F to higher F. G to higher G. A to higher A. And B to higher B. So we have here, what we have here is seven different octaves. However, these eight notes are the elements of the octave for C. So for D to D, there are different elements. It's not just the same as C, D, E, F, G, A, B and for D, D, E, E, F, G, A, B, C going back to D. No, it's not. Later, we will discuss that, the octave and the major scale. So for now, just be familiar, familiarize yourselves with the chromatic scale and octave. The process on how to construct the chromatic scale for C as well for the other notes. You can do it as well for D. Just consider the, all, the, all the keys and you will land it on the higher pitch of the note where you started. So that's it for now.